Howdy, howdy everyone and welcome back to this tutorial. In the last video, we added uh, constraints um, to make sure that the slogs meet a certain uh, pattern and are auto-generated from the title in the case of a job and from the name in the case of the company entity. But the slog are not the uh, only field that require uh, constraints and validation, right? So we're going to go back to our uh, um, ERD here, our entity relationship diagram, and let's look at the fields that we have, okay? So the name, the slug, we already dealt with that in the previous video. Now the city, usually the way you do this is by using common sense, right? So is the city, do you want the city to be required? Uh, it, it's, some, it's also based on your business uh, requirements. So do you want the job to always have a city field? Uh, I would say yes. Do you want to always have the logo for, sorry, do you want the company to always have a city field? I'll say yes. Logo, the cover image, this, the cover image could be optional. The slogan of the company and the website. I'll say everything here should be required except perhaps the cover image. So let's go and do that. Okay. So let's go to the content model, uh, company, and let's add uh, our constraint. We've already added required and unique here. City doesn't have to be unique but it must be required so let's make the validation here it should be required okay um and maybe let's limit the card count as well right we don't want uh, like crazy amount of numbers uh, an extremely long um uh, um, um character uh, number so let's say it must be uh the maximum let's say not more than yeah let's say not more than so we just add the maximum let's not more than 50 characters for the city i don't know if this is gonna be let's say 60 i don't know if there's any city out there that's more than 60 character long uh so let's add that here um okay same thing for the logo we're gonna make this required this is uh remember this uh, is an this uh, uh an image so we're gonna make it required and you can even specify the maximum size of the image and so on if you want to but we are going to uh, do that here in this video uh, required field cover image is optional like we said um, and basic and usually like the when the way you design this is going to also influence the way you code your your application for example if you know that the logo is never going to be empty uh, like you may not although it's still a good idea to do you may not have to worry about handling corner cases where the logo could be empty right so i think if statement if the logo is empty then do this if it's not empty then do that uh you may not have to do that but although um in, I, I tend to still do that anyway uh, and not or not necessarily trust the data and make sure that the code is robust because at some point we may come and change this in um in, in a database and if the code is not uh, uh, resilient enough to, to to handle potential changes in the schema of the database then yeah we may we may have um, bugs so just so just so you know now the website obviously we also want to make that unique and not only that we want it to match a certain pattern um, validation uh, yeah we want to make it match the pattern of a euro okay so it has to be a euro and uh all right i think with that we are all good okay let's save this obviously you can also add um like error messages here but i don't want to spend too much time i don't want these videos to be too long so i'm gonna save this okay all right and let's do the same for the um the job type okay Let's go back here and see what we have. We already we have already sorted it. We already done with title and slog. Remote okay doesn't need any validation. It's, it's uh, except maybe like we maybe may want to put it as a required field. Um, everything here I think should be a required field. Okay, I think so. Um, job responsibilities. Um, maybe um job description yeah this should be required and then about you job responsibilities this could be optional fields right but everything else should be required so let's go and do that okay so let me jump here uh, remote okay 
validation required field yes we want to we want you to tell us if it's required and actually we can also add a default field remote okay these days most companies are fine with that so let's put yes it's default by default is it's, it's remote okay it's fine feature job is also required but in this case the default value is no okay uh the base annual salary oh, definitely we want this to be there is required it's not unique we can't add a default value it doesn't make any sense in this case okay so yeah required field definitely and it's base annual salary now the date post set um required field um yeah let's let's, let's make this required um accept only specific date range no confirm okay experience level this is an interesting one this is remember here we have our enum okay so that's what i was i i i i um, I'm, i made a reference to in an earlier video uh, saying that um this is a string type but we want the values to be uh within the predefined sets of values right and that's what we're going to do here with these constraints and validations okay so experience level let's go click here on settings we want it to be required um and we want okay this is what we want we want the values to be um yeah predefined values so experience level we have tech lead we can add tech lead tech lead and then senior and then um media <laughs> and then junior these are our, these are the, the 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 person populating the the cms will only be able to choose between these these predefined values okay and that's exactly the behavior we want okay let's confirm here and same thing for job type okay job type similar similar story here required field and then the values that we accept are only uh, full time, part time, um, internship, internship, contract. Okay, these are the these are the uh, the, 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 the the acceptable values here. So let's save this, and then job category. Uh, we're just gonna put this this. Mm, I'll say this could be this could be this could be uh, optional because you don't necessarily need to add a category to the job. But, um, actually, you know what? Let's let's add the required field and a default value. It's on uncategorized, uncategorized. Okay. So every if, if it doesn't have uh, this, it's gonna be marked as uncategorized and that's fine uh, now the job application link this is a link so we need to make sure that it matches the pattern of a link so I'm gonna come here you're all beautiful okay let's save this uh, job description um, yeah this is required we definitely want this to be required so I'm gonna click here on required okay um, confirm all the other ones could be optional it's fine uh and i think with that we're done right we're done adding the constraints and validation to our um to our data types obviously we can do a lot more we can be a lot more granular uh, for each of these but i don't want the video to be too long i'm sure you get the concept you get the, the you get the point here and you can in your own um uh, uh, project you can um um extend and and go beyond what you're doing in this tutorial and with that we have reached the end of this tutorial uh thank you very much for uh, uh doing for going uh, through this journey with me and i see you in the next video bye bye